G'day legends, TJC Sports here. Welcome back to another Rugby League Pacific Championships video. Today, we're going to predicting, be predicting week three of the Pacific Championships. Last week, I got a wonderful two out of two predictions and maintained my perfect tipping record. Though, Cook Islands, to be honest, they gave me a real scare last week with a good lead over Fiji for most of it. But in the end, Fiji held strong and kept my perfect record in the Pacific Championships for tipping. And if you enjoy, as always, be sure to smash that like button and subscribe to the channel. And why don't you, while you're at it, hit that little bell to be notified of every time we upload. Also, keep in mind that at the end of the day, these are just my own opinions and are not fact. So feel free to let me know in the comments down below who you think's winning. With all of that done and dusted, let's get on with our predictions. To kick off the Pacific Championships Week 3, we have Australia versus New Zealand. One of the biggest games always on the international stage, World Cup or any other tournament. I can't wait to see these two teams play. If there's a team that's going to beat Australia, and if there's a team that's going to beat New Zealand, it is each other. This one, Legends, is the game of the two. I do not care what anyone says. This one is really tough to really predict as well. Obviously, New Zealand coming off a 50-0 win over Samoa. What a game that was from them. And Australia coming off a pretty dominant victory over Samoa as well. They had a break last week. So <laughs> both these teams are coming off well. But obviously, I think New Zealand had a better game um, of the two. Looking at both sides, it is... They're both really high quality, honestly. So I can see either side winning. Also, in terms of key changes for the New Zealand Kiwis, we have Keanu Kinney, Danny Levi, and Parramatta Eels' Wurumu Greg coming into the side in the reserves. And for Australia, we have Thomas Flegler and Jake Chaboyevic in the prop positions with Valentine Holmes coming in at wing and Nico Hines being moved from 18th man to number 17. I'm a pretty big fan of all of these changes, actually. Um, excited to see how Nico does, whether he gets more than about 5-10 minutes. Um, how the uh, two new addition props in Flegler and Jake Trebojevic are going to do. I think they're both very good um, rotational choices. Um, well, while still, I think that Haas in the reserves could be brought in. Taking that all into account, it is really tough to pick a winner in this one. They're both coming off massive wins. They've both got great rosters. They've got great players just in every position almost. These are the two best teams in the Pacific Championship for me. But it may just be because I'm a proud Aussie. But looking at history and everything, I'm going to go with the Australian Kangaroos to win just by 1 to 12 points, guys. I think the New Zealand Kiwis may even have the lead at one point, but Australia will play till the 80th minute and just about get the victory over New Zealand. But I welcome any surprise in this one. Anyways, on to the next game. Next up, we will have Papua New Guinea versus Fiji. Both these teams are coming off wins. PNG, an absolute flogging of Cook Islands. And Fiji, who were behind versus Cook Islands for quite a while, but managed to just about get the win in the end versus them. In terms of changes for both teams, for Papua New Guinea, we have Reese Martin, Edwin Ipafe, Wellington Albert, Yea McKenzie, and Apo Kevin. Pro apologies if I mispronounced any of them. For Fiji additions, we have Masake Ravonu, King Vunayawa, and Jason Kari Kare. Again, massive apologies for butchering the names most likely. I'm actually quite optimistic with these changes, um, especially Papua New Guinea's. Uh, Edwin P I Pape and Reese Martin in particular, I have very good memories from the World Cup of them. OG fans, if you remember our World Cup streams. I think both these teams have a chance, but looking at how these two teams did in their only other game against Cook Islands, and looking at the lineups, I'm going to lean towards Papua New Guinea, guys, and I'm going to say that they're going to win 13 plus with the way that the Pacific Championships has been going so far. Yes, I think Fiji have a good shot, but looking at how they both played in their only game, I think Papua New Guinea should do well against Fiji. I don't say it with confidence. I would love to see a close game once again, but I think Papua New Guinea will win this good. 
And those were my predictions for week three of the Pacific Championships, Legends. Feel free to let me know in the comments down below whether you agree or disagree with any of them. And with all of that out of the way, be sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed, and check out one of the other videos on Screen Legends.